crazy. YouTube, let's get, get, get it. Back with another vid, YouTube. It's your boy, Big Gap. And today, in front of us, we have a brand new X-Max. And we got a whole bunch of upgrades. We're doing a total X-Max upgrade. This X-Max, I will be hanging on to. Um, every X-Max that I get, I build it up, and then somebody want to buy it. <laughs> so, you know, I, I end up selling it just, you know, being a good guy. You know what I'm saying? Um, want to help some of the guys out who really don't know how to build. Uh, helping them helping them out with a bill so i always get rid of them but this x max right here i will be holding on to i'm doing a total upgrade right out of the box um and we're gonna rock out with it man um i'm gonna try to make this video as short as possible i'm not gonna go through step by step everything that i'm gonna do but i am gonna show you know pop in every now and then and show you where i'm at with the bill um like i said it's complete overhaul i'm changing just about everything not really upgrading a lot of you know some of the smaller things for for jumping real high but i'm definitely doing some upgrades um so with no further ado let's get into the video first things first i'm gonna get this stuff down off the box i'm gonna pop this box open uh this is not really an unboxing but i am gonna pull it out of the box on camera and then um, i'm going to walk y'all through all the parts that i have for it and uh, you know how it's gonna go. And like I said, we'll pop back in periodically to see where I'm at with it. And then we we'll go from there. So y'all hold tight. Let me get this stuff down, get this box open so we can start rocking and rolling. Said this is not a real unboxing. Everybody know this car been out for forever, so everybody know what, what basically comes in the box. Manual bags, tools. She goes, we're gonna clip these clips. Let's make sure we're in frame. Yes, we are in frame. We can come down slightly. There we go. We are in frame. Get so much satisfaction out of cutting this off <laughs> when it springs up. <laughs> See how it's compressed right now? You cut this, it just pops up. Trash. Body on. This is the rock and roll edition. And there's your X Max. 
So I'm going to show you the parts. We're going to go through all the parts, what I'm going to put in it, what I'm going to use in it. And then we're, we're, we'll, uh, we'll get the building. So hold tight. I'll be right back with you in a second. All righty. We are back. Up first, we have a hot racing 35 tooth mod 1.5 steel spur gear for the Traxxas X Max. You want a part number? There it is right there. So there she goes. Next, we have hardened steel mod 1.5 25 or uh, 24 and a 25 tooth. There you go. For the spur and pinion. Get that to the side. Next up, we have the Traxxas 2085X upgraded servo, and it has the uh, the harder servo spring in it for tension, and it has a a, a rod in for the uh, for the steering arm. So we'll be upgrading the servo. There it is, 8025X, I mean 20, 2085X servo. All right, next up, we have a light kit. I don't know who this is from. I forgot who it was from, but that's the part number. It's on Amazon. So this is a light kit. I got this light kit because it screws down in the front and the back and it's not, it, I'm not gonna be running the Traxxas uh, motor in ESC. So I needed one that goes into the ESC, but it looks re really kind of similar to the Traxxas one. Not a direct copy, but uh, something similar, especially with the back one. The back one just goes up under where the Willie bar is. So got me a light kit. All right, next up we have the Garage Life RC. So you can run the bigger batteries. We all know the X-Max battery compartment is a little suspect when it comes to different kinds of batteries. So we have the Garage Life RC battery trays. Just a little, little bit of drilling. You have to drill a little hole through the bottom of your chassis, but it comes with all the hardware right there, as you can see. All the hardware you would need right there. Garage Life RC. And two straps from Garage Life RC to go through the, uh, the trays. So that's that. Moving on. Uh, another Amazon package. Uh, it is a ESC mount for the X-Max. I can't remember the company, but there it is right there. ESC, it's just ESC mount, nothing, nothing spectacular. It's a piece of metal, basically it. All right, it's blue added eyes. And next up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to open this one. Uh, this is this was another company. They look just like Entergy, but it really is not Entergy, but it looks just like the one that uh, Entergy makes. Uh, but. There it is. This is the motor mount. You have one for the 49 series cans and one for the 50, 50 millimeter cans. Y'all can see that. This one is for the 50 millimeter can. So this one, you see it's an eight millimeter board right there. This is the one I'll be using. This one is for the five millimeter 49 series motors. But it's, this is a cool little mount. Uh, it kind of reminds you a lot of the M2C mount but the M2C mount is not as curvy. It's more like square. But yeah, these are the pieces for the mount. And here's all the hardware for it, for the motor mount. So we have the motor mount there. Let's get that off to the side. And last but not least, we have the Hobbywing Max 5 G2. And we have the Hobbywing 1250 kV motor. So this is my motor and ESC combo I'll be throwing in here. 
I went ahead and got the G2. I was going to just run a regular Max 5, but I got the G2. So anytime I want to run 12S, I can just swap the motor. I've seen people, uh, XOKs ran this motor on 12S, but I won't. Um, so anytime I want to go 12S, all I have to do is just change that motor to that 800 kV or that 650 kV, and I can run 12S. So I wanted to already be ready. So that's why I went with the Max 5 G2, 150 amp, 12S ESC, and the 1250 kv motor so there it is that's all the goodies that's going in there let's get to work i'll be with y'all be back with y'all in a second let's get it oh y'all and i forgot one thing <laughs> i forgot i got the wide kit it wouldn't have been right i can't even after driving one wide kit i can't have an x max now without a wide kit so i have the wide kit as well this is the black one um where does it show the color? It showed the different colors on the side, but this is the black kit right here. I don't know why I said why it shows green on the front. Oh, there it is right there, black. So this is the black wide kit. The most important ingredient. Can't believe I left it out. So, all right, let's get into this build. Hold tight. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have the wide kit on. We have the 85X servo installed. We are moving on to the next step. The next step, uh, probably go ahead and go with the motor mount. Um, get that on in. And then behind that, I probably will do the battery trays. And then we'll, we'll get the ESC will be the easy part. Buttoning that up will be the easy part. That'll be probably be the last step. So, Let's keep it moving. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. <clears throat> the build is finished. Wide kit looking good. 12, 1250KV Spectrum. I mean, uh, Hobby Wing looking good in there. Hobby Wing G2. I did have to use it with uh, my other motor mount, uh, motor mount that I've been had just sitting around because the other one I couldn't figure out how to make it, uh, make it work. So, but. Uh, I, I meant to say my ESC tray. I'm a, my, my ESC mount. There's your motor mount right there. All the links will be in the description. Got your Garage Life RC battery tray straps right there. Y'all see it, baby. Y'all see it. Got my light kit on the front and the rear. Um, one thing I forgot to do was get new tires. Once I put these tires back on, I was like, you know what? Man, I didn't even get new tires. So we'll run these until they blow. Once they blow. We'll upgrade and get some new ones. But there she is. And the thing that I didn't show y'all that I had, that I was keeping it a secret, uh, hold tight, and I'm going to show you what it is, is Payal. Yes, sir. We got the Jeep Rubicon Gladiator. Let's get it. I'm calling this one Bum Pop number two. Router can on Lexan had the first bomb pop. This is the new bomb pop. This was painted by Glenn down at the Hobby Shop Stop Bridge, Georgia. Y'all go check them out. But there it is. All right, so we're going to give y'all a little B-roll, show y'all what these lights look like, and we're going to get out of here. Hold tight.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are done. Can't wait to get this one out to see what it can do. I appreciate y'all sticking around watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, dislike, whatever you like. YouTube in a minute.